Hey everyone, um, I decided to do my final project on Dollar Tree. So I guess a little background as to why I picked it. Um, I used to get annoyed spending $15 on birthday cards and gift wrap at, at Target every time one of my daughter's friends had a birthday party. Um, as someone who has some experience in the packaging world, I knew that none of that was worth $15. Um, but then someone, I think it was my mom, told me that Dollar Tree had a lot of that stuff for a dollar. So since then, I've had a certain level of intrigue uh, with Dollar Tree, namely how they're able to stay in business selling everything for only a dollar. Um, for those of you who don't know Dollar Tree, they're a deep discount consumer goods store. Um, they source products extremely in, uh, inexpensively to sell for a dollar. Um, their dollar price point separates them from their competitors, primarily Dollar General. The reason I say Dollar General is because they, they recently bought Family Dollar in 2018. Um, Dollar Tree sources uh, new products from many suppliers, both domestic and foreign. Um, however, they don't employ any long-term contracts, so they're constantly switching suppliers in an attempt to get the best pricing. Um, they also get creative with their sourcing. Um, they source a lot of liquidated products from a whole host of suppliers. Um, they'll do things like They'll buy up movie theater candy with um, that has logos on the boxes from movies that are no longer in the movie theater um, that still have you know a decent amount of shelf life. They'll also do things like buy books that Target couldn't sell. Um, that's why you'll see a lot of kind of weird titles on their bookshelves for only a dollar. Um, it's titles that they've acquired for pennies on a dollar, so Target didn't have to throw it away. Um, despite their um, you know, selling everything for only a dollar. Um, they still have a gross margin between 30 and 35%, which is definitely impressive. Um, their value proposition is kind of twofold. Um, they say they have a comparable level of quality for most items while only charging a dollar. Um, this is true for the most part, although some items are definitely better than others. Um, like I mentioned before, there are cards and gift bags and wrap, and most of their household goods are, are pretty good and pretty standard. However, there are things like um, beauty and hair and other things that are not of as great quality. So that statement doesn't, it, it really just depends on, on what item you're buying and what further assortment you're looking at. Um, the other kind of competitive advantage they boast is the thrill of the hunt, um, they call it. So they entice their shoppers by their constantly changing assortment of seasonal goods. Um, and people, Dollar Tree shoppers, um, enjoy finding new novelties while only having to invest a dollar into them. So really not going out of their way, hardly at all from a monetary standpoint to get this kind of cool new things. Um, their supply chain strategy definitely fits their product characteristics for the most part. Um, they run an efficient supply chain strategy. Um, they, have a, they have a standard assortment, which makes that a lot easier. Um, they push product to stores without the need of store managers placing manual orders. However, store managers can adjust their orders if, if they want to or need to. Um, they have a supply chain system that reads point of sale data. Uh, which enables it to quickly react to store demand and reallocate inventory uh, where needed, kind of similar to Walmart's model. Um, and this strategy fits pretty well with the majority of Dollar Tree's products. Um, Dollar Tree sells items that are generic, not innovative, and have long and arguably unlimited life cycles and very low variety. Um, that said, Dollar Tree does offer a large mix of seasonal items, which could be classified as innovative, very short uh, life cycle, may fit better with the responsive supply chain. However, um, because of the value of Dollar Tree's product, um, or the, the, both the, the margin and um, just the, the amount of work that would go into putting together a responsive supply chain for low cost items just doesn't really work. Um, the, the amount, the return on doing that just wouldn't be worth something like a tech company doing that. And um, they've more or less just accepted high levels of seasonal disposition especially when you analyze the low number of inventory turns Dollar has compared to other retailers who don't have as high of a seasonal mix. Um, so the outlook on Dollar Tree, people, a lot of people are skeptical whether or not Dollar Tree can keep their $1 price point just with constantly increasing inflation. Um, the dollar for Dollar Tree doesn't, doesn't go as far as it used to, and a lot of customers are trying to complain about quality issues, especially when compared to Dollar General who offers similar items for 2 to $3. Customer actually, customers actually don't mind paying 2 to $3 for higher quality merchandise. And they've actually, um, a segment of customers have begun to see that as a better value than when you could buy a Dollar Tree. Um, that being said, stagnant worker wages and increased unemployment um, drive Dollar Tree's store growth. Um, Dollar Tree and Dollar General are the fastest growing brick and mortar retail chains in the US even before COVID-19 hit. 
So I don't see that trend going away anytime soon. Um, all in all, their supply chain seems to fit pretty well with their overall strategy, and I think they have a model for success going forward. And I don't think we'll see Dollar Tree going away anytime soon. So thank you for your time. Appreciate it.